recording and then quickly minimize that and I go back to my PowerPoint and I'm going to click slideshow start a slideshow and then click OK here and now you can see this is my PowerPoint slideshow I have just started my slideshow now I'll click the arrow key on my keyboard and it will take me to the first slide and then I'll start explaining this solution on this first slide my screen is being captured remember that the software is capturing my screen right now as I am talking it's capturing my voice and it's capturing what is on my screen so I explain this first one and then I move to the second one I spend another one or two minutes I explain this and then I move to the next question spend another one two or three minutes and I move to the next one spend another few minutes explain this and I move to the next one read the question and then explain the solution and I move to the next one so all this movement I'm doing with my keyboard I'm using the arrow key on my keyboard to move you can use the arrow pointing down or you can use the arrow pointing to your right if you want to go behind you use the arrow pointing to your left but you always want to go forward so you use the arrow going right or you use the arrow going down so I'm going to continue and I explain this and then I press again and I explain this so you will go through each slide and explain each slide one by one like this we want this type of recording to be very short so that it's not too long so you want to keep your recording to 30 minutes or less so you will take for example 10 questions you answer all of them and then you stop the video so let's assume i have answered 10 questions right now and i'm going to stop my video now because this is probably already 20 minutes or 30 minutes if i was explaining it so to get out of the PowerPoint, I'll click the escape key on my keyboard. So I can click the escape key and that will take me out of slideshow mode and put me back to my regular PowerPoint. And then I will click on the same software that is recording my screen. I open the software and then I'll click stop recording. 